Hello students, welcome back to the lecture number 12 of the chapter 4. And this lecture is the last lecture of this chapter. Okay, so in this lecture we will discuss whenever there is a linear equation in two variables like 2x plus 3y is equal to 4. It is a linear equation in two variables. Then we know this linear equation can be represented on a Cartesian coordinate system. Or you can say this linear equation can be converted into its graphical form. Or you can draw the graph of this linear equation. And while drawing the graph of this linear equation, you will get a straight line. Okay. So if you draw the graph of this linear equation, then you will get a straight line like this. And this step then represents the equation 2x plus 3y is equal to 4. Right. And one thing you can see. If you extend this straight line in both the direction. Okay. If you extend this straight line in this direction and in this direction. Now this straight line cuts or intersects the x-axis at a given point. Right. This straight line cuts the x-axis at a given point. Similarly, the same straight line cuts the y-axis at another point. Right. So now in this lecture we will discuss how to find the point at which the straight line of a given equation cuts the x-axis and the point at which this straight line cuts the y-axis. So ultimately we are going to find the point of intersection or you can say the point of cutting among the straight line and the x-axis as well as the point of intersection between the y-axis and the straight line. Right. So, we will find the coordinate of this two point at which the straight line cuts the x-axis and y-axis. Understood? So, let us do how we can find these two points. Suppose this is the linear equation. Right. Suppose I am writing this linear equation here. 2x plus 3y is equal to Right. And now we will find at which point this equation or this straight line called the x-axis. Okay. So first we will find the point of the point of intersection between this equation. Okay. 2x plus 3y is equal to 4 and x-axis. Right. So now we will find the point of intersection between the equation, this equation and the x-axis. Okay. So for this simply you have to put y to be 0. Why we put y to be 0? Because in x-axis the y coordinate is 0. That's why in the original equation you have to put y to be 0. Right. Then what will be the equation? Now the equation will be 2x plus 3 into 0 is equal to 4. So, 2x is equal to 4. Right. So, you get x is equal to 4 by 2. That is 2. Hence, the solution is part 2, 0. Always write the x coordinate first, then the y coordinate. So, what we get? We get this linear equation or this straight line called the x axis at a point. 2, 0. Understood? So, in order to find the point of intersection between the equation and the x-axis, you have to put y to be 0 because on the x-axis, the y coordinate is always 0. Understood? So, this is our point of intersection on x-axis. Now, we will find point, the point at which at which the equation 2x plus 3y is equal to 4 or y axis. Okay. Or you can say the point of intersection between the y axis and this straight line. Right. Since on y axis which coordinate is 0? x coordinate is 0. So simply put x to be 0 in the original equation. Now the equation will becomes what? 2 into 0 plus 3y is equal to 4. Right. So this is 0. So, you get 3y is equal to 4. Hence, y is equal to 4 by 3. 
you can convert it into decimal form it will be 3 1 3 1 is 3 3 3 is 9 this is okay hence the solution is x coordinate first then the y coordinate now this is the point of intersection between this line okay this line means what this equation and the y x okay this is the point represented by 0 1.3 understood so in order to find the point of intersection on y axis you have to simply put x to be 0 and to find the point of intersection on x axis you have to put y to be 0 then find the value of x and you will get the point of intersection or at which point this straight line cuts both the x axis and y axis understood so now let's do a question right so the question is find the point at which the equation 3x plus 2y minus 6 is equal to 0 cuts x and y axis right so you have to find at which point this equation this equation means what it represents a straight line suppose this is a straight line okay which is represented by the equation 3x plus 2y minus 6 is equal to 0 okay so at which point this equation or this straight line cuts x axis okay and y axis right so you have to find out the coordinates of this two points okay so let's find so first we will find the point of intersection between first we will find the point of intersection between the equation okay and x axis it means you have to find at which point this equation got the x axis as i have told you for x axis you have to put y to be 0 because on the x axis the y coordinate is 0 so if you put y to be 0 in the original equation the equation will be 3x plus 2 into 0 minus 6 is equal to 0 right so 3x minus 6 is equal to 0 3x is equal to 6 and x is equal to 6 by 3 is equal to 2 hence the solution is what? 2 0 ok always write the x coordinate first and y coordinate 0 ok that means this linear equation got the x axis at a point 2 0 right suppose this is your linear equation sorry this is your Cartesian coordinate system ok and in this Cartesian coordinate system this is x axis this is your y axis now you find that this linear equation caught the x axis at a point 2 0 ok so this is your 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 now can you identify the point 2 0 yes you can identify it this point is represented by 2 0 understood why because the y coordinate on x axis is 0 right next we will find the point of intersection between the equation uh, 3x plus 2y minus 6 is equal to 0 and y axis that means the point at which this equation got the y axis so in order to do this you have to put x to be let x to be 0 in the original equation now the equation will become 3 into 0 plus 2y minus 6 is equal to 0 this becomes 0 so 2y is equal to 6 so y is equal to 6 by 2 that is 3 hence the solution is 0 3 it means this linear equation caught this axis at a point 0 3 ok so this point will will lie on which axis y axis ok so represent it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now we have to represent this point on this Cartesian coordinate plane. So this point represented by 0, 3. Hence we got that this linear equation caught the x axis at the point 2, 0 and y axis at the point 0, 3. And if you want, then you can also draw this straight line. Okay. Now this is the straight line which represented by 3x plus 2y minus 6 is equal to 
zero. Right. Let us do one more question. Okay. So here you have to find the point at which the linear equation 4x minus 4 is equal to y cuts x-axis and y-axis. Okay. If this is a Cartesian coordinate system, okay, and as you know, this linear equation can be represented by a straight line. Suppose this is the straight line. Now this straight line cuts the x-axis at a given point. Similarly, the same straight line cuts the y-axis at a, another point. So you have to find the coordinates of these two points. Understood? So in order to find this coordinate, you have to first find the point of intersection between this line and x coordinate. So let us find it. The point of intersection between the equation and x axis. So in order to do this, you have to put y to be 0. Okay, in the original equation. Now the equation becomes 4x minus 4 is equal to 0. So 4x is equal to 4 and x is equal to 4 by 4 that is 1. So the solution is 1, 0. Okay. So the solution is 1, 0. Let us represent this point on the Cartesian coordinate system. Okay, this is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So the point is 1, 0. 0 means the y coordinate is 0. That means this point will lie on x axis. So this is the point represented by 1, 0. Now we will find the point of intersection between this equation and y axis. Okay. Between this equation and y axis. In order to do this, we have to put x to be 0. Right. So the equation will become 4 into 0 minus 4 is equal to y. So this becomes 0. So minus 4 is equal to y. So y is equal to minus 4. So the solution is 0 minus 4. So we have to represent this point on the Cartesian coordinate plane. Right. So let us represent it. Since in this point the x coordinate is 0, that means this point will lie on y axis on the negative direction. So this is the point represented by 0 minus 4. Okay, now we find the two points at which this linear equation 4x minus 4 is equal to 0 cut both the x axis and y axis. And if you want, then you can also draw the straight line for this equation by joining these two points and extending them. Right, now this equation. Or this straight line represented by the equation 4x minus 4 is equal to y. Okay.